Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. That's what we're doing. Let's jump right into it. It's a long one. All right, character intro. What you need to do is put your video on the timeline that you want to work with. Make sure that you've color graded it, put your LUT on, sharpened it, whatever it is that you want to do. Now pick out the spot where we're going to do the exact frame of the character intro. Make sure that it makes sense. Right about where my nephew is throwing up the peace sign looks good to me. So what I want to do is take a snapshot of this. Let's hit the share button and hit snapshot and that will send a snapshot to my photo roll. And for this one, we're going to use Affinity Photo. We'll hit the plus symbol to bring in a new photo. Import from photos, recents. Now the idea of what we want to do here is remove everything but him. So we need to be in the selection persona. And now I'm going to use the uh, smart selection tool and I'm just going to basically do an outline of him on the inside. We're gonna, of course, going to have to clean this up. Pull this down here. And then we'll hit refine. Okay, so it did a really good job, but I want to make sure that it's perfect. So what we need to do is move this adjustment to where it says foreground. And of course, we can correct the brush size. It's pretty big right now. It's 50. I just want to make it a little smaller to about 25. And now we're going to include in the parts that it got wrong. And every time you lift the pencil up, it will automatically refine it. Now, each time that I made a little revision here, it added some of the background in. So I want to, again, fix the foreground and the background. So now we have to toggle back to background. There we go. And just color in the background again. I'm going to make this a little bigger. So once all of that looks pretty good, what we want to do now is we want to go to transparent and for output, we want to make sure that we are on new layer and now we hit apply. And up there you can see that we do indeed have a new layer with just his picture on it. So we want to export that picture. So we're going to go over here where it looks like the page icon. We will choose export and now we will name this Ethan Jr. And we will choose okay. And I am going to send that to my gear channel. Just go back into story blocks and I will go to my files. And drag in the picture of Ethan and there we go. Now he says a little yo right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little snip right there and I'm going to drop out that yo audio. What we need to do now is line up exactly where we took that snapshot, which is right there. So we are going to cut the video from there. We'll just move this a little out of the way. We're going to take that original snapshot back and just bring it back over here. Now there's a few different styles that we can do with this, but for this particular one, what we're going to do is take that, move it up a little bit, and I am going to hit the plus sign and we are going to choose overlay title. We'll go to the overlay title and edit it. The first thing that we want to do is go to the T where the text is and we want to actually get rid of the text. So we'll throw it away. We'll hit the plus sign and choose shape. What we're doing now is looking for a color for the background. I think that looks good right there. I want to go with that. And now we are going to make this the entire size of the screen. That looks good. Building up to the actual spot where we're going to introduce the title is going to take a total of three frames. So what we want to do here is we are going to use the blending of this background. Go all the way to the very beginning and we are going to dial this down to about 50%. That looks good. We'll keyframe it there. We'll advance a frame, make it a little darker, 
advance one more frame and bring it up to 100% completely. So now at least this layer is done. Now what we're going to do with this layer is make this black and white. So we're going to go to color and effects. I want to make him black and white from here. I think that looks good right there. If you don't have a black and white LUT, you go back to original and you go down to noir and, and noir and use luma fusions. Now we'll go to frame and fit. So for the first one, I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Like right there, keyframe it. The next one and make it a little larger. Right there and the next one, same thing. Boom, he's gonna bounce up. Now if we wanna make an outline around him, let me lift this up. What we can do is duplicate that one. So we'll go down here and we'll go to color and effects and we'll go to invert. Okay, so now we'll go to um, frame and fit. And with each size, we just wanna make it a little bigger so it's just a little visible beyond him. The next one, just a little touch bigger. And the next one, a little bigger yet. I think that looks really good. Okay, so let's see this. Okay, and now obviously we wanna have a title pop up right in there, so we'll hit the plus sign again and choose overlay title. Let's see what we'll have written here. Let's find a masculine font here. Does that look masculine? I think that looks pretty, I guess, I don't know, I freaking know. That looks good, Ethan Jr. Maybe we'll hit plus, shape, align. I'll make more text, so I'll just duplicate that. The nephew. That a little smaller. You know, maybe I'll make his name a little bigger. Okay, so blending, let's see, down there, I'm gonna drop it down to zero, add a keyframe, and then I'm going to fade it in so that it comes in fully from by that one. And we are going to, should I move it to size and position? Let's go back to the beginning. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller, like right there. Hit the keyframe. And right there. You really don't want anything like this any longer than two or three seconds. It's just drawn out. You just want the people to read the name and understand who the character is. Now what we can also do to make it a little fancy, we can also do a little oil splash back there that I created, but we'll have to go to key and go to light luma so that everything you can see through. You know what I think I'm gonna do here also for the fonts? I am going to put a little bit of a shadow. I think that looks pretty cool too. And like I said, it should just transition in three frames from where you want it to be to one, two, three. And boom, there is your character intro. And if you don't like the oil splat, you just get rid of that. If you just want it nice and plain and simple. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, that took 
like an insane amount of time for something that's only gonna be on the screen for a few seconds. Why would I do that? And my answer is because it's cool, because it's gonna get you noticed. It's what sets you apart from everybody else. How much time you're investing in your edit, not only just making your videos, but how well you're editing them and putting them together. Parker Wallbeck is hiring a new editor. And what he did is watch a bunch of different videos that people submitted to him. And he watched things and he's like, I could tell you right now, this guy spent four hours on this 10 second clip. So that right away catches my attention and says, oh my gosh, this person just spent four hours putting together an intro. Let's see what else he has to offer. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's like what I had done for the Road versus Movo video. I spent four hours working on that boxing scene and cutting everything together and making it just so. I got a lot of compliments on that video. It made me feel really good, but it did take an insane amount of time to finally get done. But it's the little things that are gonna get you noticed and what's going to propel you to the very next level. And that's gonna do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. It means so much to me that you take your time out to watch my videos. Honestly, I'm still blown away by every single view and comment that I get. It means the absolute world to me and I thank you so very much. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and give your mom and dad a shout just to say how much you love them.